show. And after Magic Mike, that's when Dallas Buyers Club happens, right? So now you're yes, on a now I, am, I have a hold of, of the script, Dallas Buyers Club, for a while. Right. But no one's going to finance and make it with me. Why? Again, it just, I no mean, one we've still got some. It. We've still got some hangover from. Wait a minute. I'm not sure that this yeah. is the right guy. Is, 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 is it going to be worth it? Can he do it? Blah blah blah. Right. I see a film called Crazy, which I loved with Jean Marc Vallée. We meet here in New York. He loves the script. Wants to do it. I want to do it. Um, and he, uh, there we were. We were yeah. off. But then even that, we willed that picture into happening. We were. I was saying, and he was saying, we're making it in October. When we didn't have any money to make it, we, wow. were, we were talking out of our ass. We were bullshitting. But the thing is, we didn't flinch. So every other other scripts would come in. This is for October. And I'd tell my agent, why are you showing me another script? We're doing Dallas Buyers Club. And people were behind the scenes were going, you're not really doing it. There's no <laughs> financing. We're like, yes, we are. Because no one believed yes, it are. could be a financial success. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And yeah. so I get a call eight days before we go to shoot Dallas Buyers Club from Jean-Marc. And he says, the director, he goes, Matthew, he, he, I, 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 I had needed to have a minimum of seven and a half million dollars to make this movie and all of a sudden I found out to have less than five I don't know how I can make this movie but if you will be there on day one I, I will show up as well oh. eight days before that is crazy we show up in eight days in that eight days he scrapped the grip department which for those of you who don't know it's lighting <laughs> the only light <laughs> on the entire to make set a movie? was a headlight from the car that pulled <laughs> oh, me up God. really yeah and so, and, and so, that's not a big money uh, offer for you. It's probably no, no, no. They offered like two hundred grand to make that that's movie. A labor of love. Mm, yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll make that. it for four point nine million, and we go make it. Tell me about this guy, Jared Leto. Do we enjoy working he's with him? Great. We like him. Leto's great. But now, Leto is he? He's one of those guys. Got to be in character, right? I mean, he's this like is a, what's great about it. This is what you like. Yeah. Are you one of those guys when you're on a set? Do you have to be in character the whole time? I would rather be. Right. Leto and I didn't meet until the after the final scene of the movie. You're kidding. <laughs> no, that's when all the first time we finished it's a wrap and I turn around and go, Leto, how's it going? He goes, it's going all right, McConaughey. That was fun. He like, how's the band? He was that Hold other it. guy. He never, no, he, never he, pi- he stole stuff from me just as Ray Hunter <laughs> steals shit from me. He never and called you uh, McConaughey. Absolutely he, he, not. He, he stayed in character the whole time and you never got to meet him. Every no, and he didn't meet me. When you're at the craft service table and he's his character and you're, his, and you're your character... You mean there's no? He's Ray on him, probably punching him in the arm, saying "back off." Wow, you know, I mean, whatever. And it, that's fun. That's not a pain in the ass. My, most actors think that's cu- cuckoo. No, it's not cuckoo. It, if it's constru- look, if it, all actors have their different things they do. Right. If it's constructive to doing the best work, hey man, pour fire on the on the pour gas in the fire. Let's go do it. <laughs> now, if you have these things you do that are not constructive, right. if that means oh you're not coming out of the trailer for five hours. To work well that's bullshit right but do what you go for it we're, we're playing make believe let's make them believe do you think i don't need to i don't need a new friend <laughs> right i don't need to hang out with somebody let's go tell the story do you hang out with jared leto now like were you guys like how when does we, it work I, I well mean, we when we when we cross each other we always go powwow about something and and, right. and we, we write from time to time keep up but he's not one of those guys that you sit there and hang with like he's not one of your closest friends no no Wait, do you do do you live in the same place no i'm just saying well, i'm, just, I'm I mean, just wondering how it works you know and and when he's the joker on another movie and if you run into him he's the joker right you can't say hey it's let not it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i suppose so. i love that it's it's a great way well the yeah. other guy who does it the guy who won uh, daniel day lewis who played you can't lincoln argue with you can't, success, yeah right that right? guy and who knows where he is in between yeah, did you learn did you yeah. learn that technique from an acting school where you stay in character the whole time or is that something you picked up on a set no it's just it's fun. Do you do that on a romantic comedy when you were in that kind of phase of your career, or is it just not necessary? Yeah, look, I didn't, you know, I didn't all of a sudden have a turn where I became a serious actor. Right. I worked as hard to break down the the rom-com scripts and had as many earmarked pages and notes and pages of things that I'd written and tried to improvise in those as I do in any other film I've done recently. Wow.